Hello. In this video, I will show you the presentation abstraction control software design pattern. I assume you already know model view controller, model view presenter, or model view view model. They all have these three roles to tackle different responsibilities. In this video, we will look at the model view controller, which looks like this. We have a controller which interacts with a data model and a view. The view shows the graphical user interface to the client and maybe interacts with the client. And the model stores all the data and abstractions of our objects. For presentation abstraction control, they called the roles a little bit differently. Instead of view, they called it presenter. And instead of model, they said abstraction. And it looks like this. We can shorten this to just PCA and arrange it a little bit differently. And the idea behind presentation abstraction control is to compose this into a bigger structure where multiple components are presented at the same time, where each of these components has this three part structure. Let's see how this can look like. Imagine this is one component. Remember that the presentation is the view, the control is the controller, and the abstraction represents the model of our component. And now we can connect this with another component, for example, like this. Here the controllers between these two components communicate with each other and exchange information, but each component has its own three parts. And of course, this can be continued and even more components can be used. So this can be a part of a very big structure where all the controllers are communicating with each other, but each component has its own presentation part and its own data model, the abstraction part. And finally, all components draw a specific part of the website, for example. Each is responsible for a different part. In the end, the user sees a single user interface comprising of many components, where each of the components has its own data model and presentation parts. The benefit is that you can decompose a complicated user interface into smaller parts, which are easier to handle and which can be developed independently. So the presentation abstraction control design pattern is about decomposing a graphical user interface into smaller agents. And each of these agents consists of the three parts, presentation, which interacts with the user and shows the graphical user interface, the abstraction, which represents the data model, and the control, which represents the business logic and the communication between the components. In the pattern, there's also the differentiation between a top-level agent, an intermediate-level agent, and bottom-level agents, but this is not that important. Important is that the whole structure is composed out of smaller components, which all have these three parts. Let's look at the dynamics of this pattern. For example, the client clicks on a button, which should do something. The presentation forwards this to the control, which then decides if the event should be forwarded to all the other components or not. Let's imagine in this case, this is an important information, so all others get informed and they individually decide how to react on this event and change their data model and the presentation then changes its representation or not. Each component can decide this individually. And in the end, all the presentation parts update the graphical user interface of only their individual component. This makes especially complicated user interfaces easier to manage and easier to handle because you only have to manage the individual components. The benefit here is that each component has its individual state and can be developed individually. This makes it easier to handle the complexity of complicated user interfaces. A drawback is that sometimes you may have duplicate code in here. For example, objects which are used by multiple components could be contained in multiple abstraction parts, and that's duplication. Maybe using singletons or entity component systems behind would be useful. To summarize, the presentation abstraction control is an architectural design pattern which is useful for handling complex user interfaces by splitting it up into smaller agents. And each of the agents represents the classical model view controller or a similar structure. That was the presentation abstraction control. 
Goodbye and have fun with design patterns.